Michael Omeyer. I'm the Vice President of Business Development uh, here at Grand Tech uh, from the Chicago office, which currently looks a, a lot like my basement. Um, <laughs> and uh, with me is Eric. Go ahead, Eric. Yeah, I'm Eric Hasty um, uh, with Grand Tech, obviously, but I am not in my basement. I am in my dining room, <laughs> so uh, making the best of this, making it work. So, yeah. Good. Uh, we appreciate you being here. Uh, before we jump into the demos, I do want to set up a little bit what everything is that you're going to see, kind of what category and all that it falls into. So everything here makes sense. Um, I do have one slide and one slide only that tells you about Grand Tech. Uh, so if you don't tell my CEO, we ran through 230 people in 40 years with one slide, that'll be good. If you look in the upper right hand quadrant, uh, that is essentially everything we do, the type of work we do from BAS to validation, WMS, batching, mixing, process, automation, MES, industrial networking, the whole physical infrastructure, all controls and automation, packaging and machine safeguarding. Uh, bottom right quadrant shows uh, where our true bricks and mortar building are and uh, where we have people in remote offices, although we're really all in remote offices at the moment. Um, bottom left quadrant shows our key partnerships that we have, and these are companies with whom we work together directly, uh, both on technology as well as uh, business development, not just the plaque in the hallway club, as some people might call it. And the top left quadrant is really just a smattering of a couple of uh, um, pharmaceutical companies we do quite a bit of work with. So what we're going to be showing you is the product line from Systec and Solutions. They are experts in building uh, GMP hardware for IT, ITOT, IIOT, whichever acronym you're using. Um, they really are best in class IT solutions for pharmaceutical and hygienic production. Uh, they are made in Germany. They're all clean room compatible, highly efficient, and they are all stainless steel uh, and IP65. Uh, the environments we serve and where we see the majority of, of our installations are pharma and biopharm. Uh, any area with a GMP requirement and a clean room. Clean rooms you can see classes A through D. Any high hygienic areas uh, from production to filling and weighing dispense. Uh, we do see some in food and bev. Uh, cosmetics is probably um, more of a second category than food and bev for us. You know, pharma life sciences. And occasionally we do do a bit of work in the electronics industry where they have a super clean environments and areas as well. And anywhere where cleaning agents uh, are using acid-based and alcohol cleaning solutions. Um, so what Eric's going to be showing you in just uh, 30 seconds here, we have products that are both fixed and mobile. If you look to the left, the first two from the left are, are the units being uh, put in more of a fixed position. Uh, the next two are more mobile. And with that, I'm going to turn it over to Eric, who's going to really show them to you as much as we can from his dining room. And then after that, we do have a, a slide showing a number of different physical mounting um, uh, technologies we have to put it in various places and while Eric's been very generous to let us use as a demo room we really can't mount things all over his wall so with that <laughs> I'm gonna stop sharing my screen turn it over to Eric and uh, let him start showing the actual products thanks Mike thank you for everyone for being here and, and just to kind of reiterate Mike I've actually thought about hanging some of my walls now so it, <laughs> it, it could happen you never know so we've got some wonderful We've got some wonderful products here today from SysTech and Solutions in Germany. Um, really what you're looking at here is sort of a full spread of our wave monitors, our wave uh, industrial PCs. And just to give everyone a little background on the wave industrial PCs, uh, essentially this is all three of these can be used obviously in an ideal uh, HMI environment uh, or a GMP clean room environment. Um, really suited to the pharma industry. Um, you're looking at essentially two different sizes here, uh, this being the 24 inch, these two over here being the actual uh, 21 and then another 24 inch there. So, but as far as sizes themselves, they come from 19 inches all the way up to 55 inches, um, full HD or in the case of the 27 inch and the 55 inch, um, basically ultra high definition resolution as well. So it's an IPS panel. It is optically bonded. Um, it has a viewing angle of 180 degrees. So you can really get to the side of these and see it very well, very crisp, very sharp. Um, they're very ergonomic. They're very sleek. There's no real, uh, real crevices or grooves anywhere on this that you could catch on really anything that water would collect, that dust would collect. They are all IP65 ready, washdown ready. Um, have a lot of clients that use 
cleaning agents such as spore cleanse, things of that nature that uh, they're absolutely fine with that. Um, so they are IP65 rated. It's three or four stainless steel. I do get the question sometimes um, as far as is it three or four, three or 16? It is three or four stainless steel. Uh, really no open ports either is another thing that's really great about these. If you look at like this three star here, I'm going to tilt the camera down a little bit. All the ports on these are sealed. Um, the on off button, everything is sealed on these. And just to kind of give everyone an idea of what these look like from the ground up. You can see this one right here is our three star. It's about hip height. So it hits me about in the hip roughly uh, in the middle this is a unique product in the middle this is actually a tube mounted laboratory workstation um, it's on a stainless steel stand i'm going to just try to turn it somewhat sideways so you can see it a little bit better but you can see it's on a stainless steel stand um, really perfect for cleaning your benches can be operated uh, via the touch screen here or the keyboard the glass keyboard which is attached on this one um, and you get, that's really the beauty of all this. You have the option of going either way. You can attach the keyboard. You don't have to have it attached. Um, all of those. So cables can be easily routed through the bench and the tube in the back to comply with any of the clean room standards that you have. And it is also IP65 rated and washed down. Ready. And Eric, if I can interrupt for a second, yeah. someone wanted to know how to get additional people into the meeting. Just forward the email that has the log on uh, to Demio. Uh, they'll, be able to, they'll be able to register, they'll get an email to them, and then they will be able to uh, click and join the meeting immediately. Great, thanks Mike. But just looking again, I'm gonna slide this one up here. This is actually a, a Trolley Light five star. Uh, it's one of our best selling units. Um, has a nice footprint on it, um, does have a battery in it. This one does not, it's just plugged in, but um, typically these do have batteries that run anywhere from one to two shifts. Uh, very sharp screen, very sharp touch screen on these. But again, no external wires, no external connectors, um, easy to clean. This is a single torque hinge on this. So this keyboard can be essentially moved in any direction, up and down. Um, we also make this in a double torque hinge, which would go here. So, and also looking on the side of this, this is a unique feature that we can offer you. This is basically, it's an RFID reader. Um, it is Bluetooth or a smart card reader, really simple and secure authentication is what this is, um, plugged into the side of this particular wave unit. We also offer this RFID integrated into the keyboard as well, to the glass keyboard. So, just wanted to show everyone that. And I'm going to pull up the three star here. Hopefully you can see that. This is the three star. And what I've done is I've put, uh, this is a scanner holder. So if you're using wireless scanner holders on this, uh, ideal for that, to hold that. Also, I'm just going to put on some gloves real quick. I want to show everyone basically how sensitive these touch screens are on these, uh, which they are very, very sensitive. Again, and I just want to make a point of showing everyone that. But this is the three star trolley. I can get the glove on. This is really for light clean room operating for mobile use. Um, plug in work. Essentially, there's no install cost. It's compact. It's ergonomic. IP65 rated again. Um, but this is really, you know, when you look at it, let me get out of this. You know, it, it's a very sensitive screen. Um, essentially, this is just this is just Microsoft Paint, but you can pretty much go in any direction, any width. Um, and really, the one thing that I love about these is you do again have options. You have an option of using the keyboard on screen here, which is the touch screen. You have the option of using the keyboard here, the glass keyboard, which again is IP65 rated. So you have multiple yeah. options. Yeah. While you're there, uh, question, uh, do you have thin client versions available? Absolutely. We do have thin clients available. Um, we really, you know, we, we basically have the iGel thin client available and ready to go.
Great question. Any other questions that we have right now, Mike? Uh, how much how much inside customization is available? I think Great we need plus. processor, you know, memory, et cetera. Right, and this kind of gets back to what you know I was saying earlier in that you can really customize these. Um, essentially, everything on the inside you can choose the processor, the SSD, um, the actual amount of RAM, uh, all the way to the type of keyboard that you want, Bluetooth or not, wireless or not. Um, we pretty much offer all of that. So yeah, the options are pretty unlimited for these systems, which really is what makes them so unique. All right, good. Cool. A couple other things I just wanna show everybody today. Um, this is actually a glass keyboard that we offer now really geared more toward, it's wireless. It's a wireless Bluetooth keyboard, real glass on the front, you can hear it. It gives sort of a tactile feedback to it, uh, but it is Bluetooth operated. You can also make it wired with a USB port right here. Um, but very unique keyboard in that it's, um, it's wireless again, it's IP65 rated. You do have the tactile feedback on it, like I'm doing there. Easy to clean, glass surface, affordable price point too on this. But it's ideal for things like tablets, which I'm gonna talk about next. Um, and any system where you do need a wireless keyboard that's IP65 rated, essentially, it's ideal for that. Um, question, yeah. uh, are you, does, does it manage Rockwell Thin Manager? Can it work with Rock, can it connect directly to either Rockwell Thin Manager or Citrix is the exact question. I know the answer to Citrix, that one I know myself, I believe it is, I know it works with Citrix, and I believe that uh, right. the Verum, which is now Kerber, but Verum PassX MES software for Pharma, and Citrix, right. and Systec and Solutions have all uh, validated uh, their systems together. That one I know. What about Rockwell Thin Manager? That one I'm not completely sure of, Mike, um, but we can definitely find out from Systec Germany. Um, I want to say yes, but I don't want to give it completely my thumbs up right now, if that makes All sense. All right. Um, what I have here is the new SysTech tablet. This is redesigned from our older design, if, you, if anyone remembers that. Um, this one's a little bit lighter. It's sleeker. This actually has the tablet on it, or actually has the handle on the tablet um, mounted on the top. So it's easy to carry around. We make tablet holders for these. Um, but one thing I really love about this tablet, well, there's a lot of things actually. It's extremely durable. Uh, it's IP65 wash down ready rated. Um, and this is actually a Microsoft Surface. We also offer the iPad Pro that can be encapsulated just like this Surface is. Uh, on the cover, we have some Gorilla Glass, so it's very tough, very durable. But the one thing that is really unique to this tablet is the actual ports. And if you look at these, it is a magnetic port. I'm just gonna show you how it just connects right in. Just like that. So it's magnetic. This is actually a charger. I think this is a USB-C micro. But the other one, same thing. And on the end of that is your USB port. So you can actually you can actually import data, do whatever you need to do where it's attached to a USB port on this particular one. So very, very unique product. Um, don't see a lot of stainless steel tablets on the market. This is excellent for, again, clean rooms. It's basically anywhere where you would have a paper binder is where you would use this. Um, you know, the waves offer more screen size, more power. Um, some of our clients like to look at the MES systems, the DCS systems, everything on one screen with these. Um, and that's kind of the beauty of the waves is that we offer a lot of options on these waves. Um, and I got well, two things, Eric. One, yeah. since uh, Systec is uh, sitting in on this call, yes, they are rated for Rockwell Thin Manager. So. Right. Uh, we know that one. And the other question, what is the weight of the tablet? Do you know that? Yeah, it's about four pounds. Um, it's right at about four pounds. It's not terribly heavy. 
Um, it's actually lighter than the old tablet. But again, we have options for um, if that weight is a little too much for some individuals, we have the tablet holder or the tablet cradle. Basically sits inside a cradle and you can just type away on the screen. Um, and then we also offer touch pens for these as well. So yeah. Good, good. Mm -hmm. What other questions do we have? Um, that's it for the moment, but if anyone else has a question, just type it in and I will uh, keep reading them off. Yeah, one thing I want to mention too with this Wave 5 Star, this guy, this big guy right here, um, again, it's plug and play. There's no install cost with this. Um, you know, it's mobile use. You can basically use it in multiple clean rooms, charge it, move it around. It has a Wi Fi antenna on it in the back. Trying to get this so everyone can see it right here. Looks like a coffee cup lid, but it's actually the Wi Fi antenna that goes to this actual unit. So we do offer Wi Fi in these. Uh, if we look at the base, I always like to show the base on these because they're really well designed. Um, I'm just going to tilt this camera up a little bit. It's hard for me to do that actually. Anyway, the base of these has IP65 rated HMI connectors and they're USBs, they're power, um, you have ethernet connections as well. So you have multiple options again on this, the strong battery pack that comes with this. It really lasts up to two shifts is typically what I normally see. Um, and these really, you know, it's really driven, the demand to buy these is really driven by fulfilling your demanding specifications. So if you need to reduce investment costs, maintenance costs long-term, these are ideal for that. Uh, so a couple of questions here. Uh, do you offer multiple monitors in these standing units? And I, I know the answer is yes, and I'm gonna share a screen here for just yeah. a uh, second. Share, share, to share. So if you wanna address the, the one to the far, well, it's right to me. I don't know if this image is being flipped. But. Right, yeah, that's actually the trolley duplex. It's on a about a hip height five star base. Um, so you essentially have two 21 inch monitors, two 21 inch wave units, IPCs there. And you have a glass keyboard that's attached with a single torque hinge. So really the beauty of that is you can, you can really look at multiple systems at once um, across two different monitors. Uh, really, you know, the duplex is an ideal product to have if you need to have that. So yeah, that's, that's a great question. So uh, uh, there's a couple other multiple monitor questions coming in. Keep sending yeah. them in. We have another slide. When we, we have a slide where we show mounting options, we'll be able to address all of those. So right. uh, just delay that for a moment. We'll get back to it. Um, right. The other question that just came in, um, are all units available with wireless, Wi-Fi? Again, great question. Um, and the answer there is yes, they are. Um, we can install Wi-Fi into these uh, at the factory. Um, and I think I just showed everyone the actual Wi-Fi antenna on the actual trolley light five star here. Um, but yeah, we could definitely uh, install wireless on these, no doubt. Yep. Um, did you have anything else left to show here? Because before I start flicking into... I wanted to show everyone the device adapter. Oh, this, yeah. Yeah, the device adapter on the back, you can see the angle here. It's about a 10 degree angle. And again, the one thing I love about SysTech and people hear me say it over and over again is the options that it does, that they do offer you. Um, this particular angle is 10 degrees. We can also do straight out. Um, if you look, I can just roll this back over here. If you look at this one, I'm gonna tilt this down a little bit. If you look at this, obviously it's out much more. This is about a 60 degree angle. So this is more hip height. You're gonna be looking down on this unit as opposed to this one where you're gonna be looking out at it more. Um, but again, the great thing is you can adjust the keyboard. I have a lot of customers that don't even use a keyboard on this. They just use it as a touchscreen computer because it is more hip height. It's lower to the ground, very easy to maneuver around um, different things in a clean room. So yeah. 
hang on here for a second. Do you know uh, how long does it take to charge the batteries in the, let's say, Trolley 5 Star or the Trapezoid, either one? Yeah, typically uh, six to eight hours is what I've found in the regular battery for it to charge. Good. Um, other question was, is it possible to upgrade the computers after some time has gone by? It is possible, but like anything else, all computers have life cycles that, you know, the hardware eventually does wear out. It gets old, uh, it gets slow. Um, but again, I'll show you the back of this guy. You can see all this is modular. All these plates come off. The device adapter comes off with four screws and then you have a plate that runs just like this. So in theory, you can upgrade it down the, in the future, um, but it just depends on how far out you're talking. So it's all circumstantial. Uh, another question in, oh, uh, and uh, uh, engineering from Germany said, you, to get the battery to 80%, you can get there in less than two hours. The okay. Final that might take a little longer, but getting back up to 80% less than two hours. Um, sure. Another question, do carts offer any vertical adjustment for the keyboard and monitor, or are they at a fixed height? Um, we do offer a essentially a mounting pole that is variable, that can be adjusted height-wise. Don't really recommend that in a clean room because it's, you know, basically it moves in and out of itself, so you're going to have a seal on that. Um, but we do offer it for customers that, that do want that, yes. Good. I think I'm caught up other than all the side-by-side -side questions. Like I said, when we get to the slide that shows all the mounting options, that'll be a lot easier to explain then. Yeah, definitely. And I know you have a three-star and a five-star. I don't know. Do you have a trapezoidal one, or is that out on, uh, on loan to someone who's evaluating it? Yeah, the trapezoid is actually out on loan, uh, but I was going to mention the trapezoid you know, you're looking at a five star, you're looking at a three star. The trapezoid is unique in that it has a much smaller footprint. Uh, let me share a, a, like let me share a picture. Sure. And you can probably explain off of that. Mm -hmm. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. The third one from the left is the uh, trolley light trapezoid. Again, it's, it's a really unique product in that it does have that smaller footprint. In fact, you can kind of see it compared to the actual uh, five star there on its right. But also a unique thing about it, if one of the wheels actually becomes enabled or comes off, it still will stand up. So they've designed it in Germany so that it still stays upright. And the fact that it's not available answers the question no one's asked yet, which is, could we have an evaluation unit? And the answer there is, of course, yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, in fact, all these, all that you're looking at here are evaluation units. These are all demos that I keep readily. I send them out. Um, I also have an actual, as I said, a five-star unit with a battery. It's extremely heavy, but it's, uh, it's a great unit if you're looking to really demo the battery, see how long it lasts, um, all of those things. But yeah, they're readily available, including the tablet, including the medical keyboard. Good. Um, anything left on the demo units you have, or should we get onto the mounting options? Because there's there's a few things to discuss there. Yeah, let's get onto the mounting options. That'd be great. All right, let me uh, get back to sharing. And okay, there's a handful of mounting options and a couple more uh, doubles. You wanna? I'll let you take them. Yeah, absolutely. Um, these are really, as Mike said, these are the fixed mounting options that we do offer. Really what I've shown you today are more of the mobile uh, trolley type options uh, with the exception of the laboratory workstation. But one of our most popular options as far as mounting systems goes is the YouTube, which is second from the left. Um, these all are, are, are very novel in that they're very customizable. Um, the YouTube there, second from the uh, the left, is probably our most popular, as I said, but you can also, we have ceiling mounts, we have floor mounts, uh, we have duplex, we have the direct wall mount, which basically is just what it says, it's just right on the wall. Um, and then we have the duplex vertical, but all these are purely fixed, um, with the exception of the YouTube. It does swivel out. It swivels in, it swivels out. It's actually um, what lets it do that are the couplings that's on it. So yeah, great, great, uh, great question. Good stuff. 
Uh, and this, well, you actually know this customer yourself. This is their application. Yeah, uh, this is their. This is an actual picture from a customer um, of our YouTube that shows how they have mounted it at their own custom height. Um, and you can see that in the picture, especially on the right there. You can see one is mounted a little higher than the other based on their workstation flow. So it's uh, very customizable. Absolutely, Mike. Good. And then we have a number of uh, options as well. If you want to just jump through those. Yeah, yeah. We have different keyboards. Um, what I showed everyone today were the glass keyboards. Um, we also offer a membrane keyboard, which essentially it has raised, slightly raised buttons on it with some tactile feel, feedback on it that you can actually feel when you're pressing on it. I always recommend going with the glass keyboard if you have operators that are going to be um, essentially using it for long periods of time. It's just a little less taxing, um, but we do offer either one. And we have companies that really love the membrane keyboard as well. So it's just, it's personal preference really more than anything. And then the scanner and printer boxes, these are excellent. They are for essentially just what it says. They're for wireless or wired scanners and printers. Um, do a lot with the zebra printers inside the printer boxes. They do come in different sizes as well. So they are IP65 rated. So yeah. Good to me. Uh, one last thing I will we'll throw in a slide is you're putting together uh, any ITOT physical infrastructure. Uh, we do have a team that uh, works in this. Uh, they're dedicated to it. Servers, clients, thin clients, the copper fiber wireless, etc. So we can certainly help design whatever infrastructure is needed to support the MES or the process application you're running, and, as well as the SysTech and solutions hardware you might be installing. Um, and really, that's kind of it. If you have any more questions, please type them in. After this, we do have a number of uh, just photographs showing uh, units installed at customer locations where we've been given permission to show the pictures. It doesn't say who the customer is, but it's a chance to see every one of them in, in a real life situation. But right. if someone has a, a question before we do that, just type it in and we'll uh, start working our way through that. If not, um, I'll just start showing them. Maybe that uh, stimulates a question or two. Yeah, this is actually a YouTube again, um, mounted to uh, a stainless steel wall sort of in a corner. Um, looks like it's on a pilot unit, quite possibly with the glass keyboard. But again, you can see how easily this can swivel in and out from the wall. Um, so it's, it's basically, it's a space saver. It does help. You can flatten that keyboard, um, straight down. So it is parallel to the wall as well. Okay. One question here, since we, we do have, uh, both Andreas and Jan from um, Germany on with us. So guys, this one's for you. Uh, the question is. The thin manager support has been verified. Is that through Windows Win TMC or, or for Windows Win TMC applications? And I'll be honest, I don't fully understand the question. I hope I hope it makes sense to you. Thin manager support. Ah, the answer is yes, both. Yes to both. Yes, good. Um, I'll move on to the next slide here. Let me get back to that screen. Yeah. Uh, another smattering of units there. Yeah, a really good picture here that shows really all of the trolley lights. Um, you've got the trapezoid on the left with a wave. Looks like about a wave 224, which is a 24 inch. You have the uh, trolley light three star, which I showed everyone that sort of the the hip height type of uh, three star. Looks like with another wave 221 maybe on it. Then you have, it looks like a couple of uh, trolley light five stars. Um, well, the one on the right is actually the duplex model. So you can have two screens with the correct device adapter on it. And it looks like they're all uh, with the glass keyboard. The trolley light five star third from the left actually has the scanner holder on it as well. You can see the actual scanner that's sitting there in its cradle, very popular item. Great. All right. Let me move on. There we go. Yeah. Let me get a little closer to my monitor on this one. This looks like also a YouTube mounted in the corner. It looks like a, um, if I'm not mistaken, it looks like either a pilot or a wave system on a glass keyboard. 
And again, this is um, this is a clean room. So yeah. Great. Let me. Looks like another YouTube. I think I see the swivel mount back here. Right, right. And actually this too, if you can kind of look, yeah, you can see that the single torque hinge right here with the glass keyboard, with the actual scan holder. You're right. Yeah, we got a scanner and the scanner holder. And uh, is this a printer box then? This would be a printer box. Yeah, this is actually integrated into the wall. Correct, Mike. Uh, oh yeah, this this is the one that has three photos kind of mashed together. Right. The one on the left is the direct wall mount. It is just what it says. It is a direct wall mount. It comes out from the wall um, a few inches. Uh, the one in the middle is the YouTube support arm. Again, uh, swivels in and out on a coupling. And then on the right, what you see is the device adapter that I talked about a little bit earlier. Um, this is the straight device adapter. Uh, you can see the plate on the back of this wave unit, how everything is basically um, hex screwed on. It's all gasketed, silicone gaskets, so it makes it completely sealed. Okay. Yeah, great ones here. Trolley Maxi on the left here um, actually has the drawer in it with the integrated keyboard right inside the actual trolley top. This is actually a pilot and it has a uh, Bluetooth scanner on the scanner holder fork right here. You can see on the bottom, you have what appears to be a printer box integrated into the actual trolley maxi. And then on the right, we have what looks like a ceiling mount um, straight down from the ceiling with, again, the scanner holder fork, uh, glass keyboard, and that appears to be a Wave 221, I believe. Uh, another question, do we have adjustable tilt positions on the uh, actual screen, the monitor? Well, what we offer, again, is that device adapter, and that device adapter can give you certain angles that you do need, whether it's 10 degrees or 60 degrees or straight up and down. Um, so you can choose that angle, but once you receive the unit, you cannot adjust correct. it. Okay. Correct. It's a, it's a fixed actual uh, angle there. Yep. Good. Um, that, I think, is the last of the photos we have. I, I think we've gotten to every question. Um, appreciate a couple of compliments or thank you. That's very nice. Uh, any other questions? There were quite a few double screen, double, you know, unit questions. Did anybody have yeah. any of your questions regarding that? Because I, uh, it seemed to be a popular topic today, and I don't leave anything uncovered. Um, and we do, we can put one portrait and one landscape, if we will, right? One horizontal, one vertical, when we do a double. Um, you're looking at one landscape, one vertical uh i'm pretty sure we can again germany can can chime in on that one but typically what i do is two horizontals for a duplex um but we can, i'm sure we can and the, the answer from germany is yes we can one more question here on the doubles on the mobile units we're showing doubles one above the other do mm -hmm. we do a double side by side on a trolley or is that physically too unstable hmm I've never seen that. Maybe Germany can weigh in. I have, I have not seen I it. Either. It's on a great question. I've just never seen it. Uh, yeah, it's too, too, the weight is, is too uh, unstable is the answer. Yeah, yeah. Even on like the five star, which is this, which does yeah. support a tremendous amount of weight. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and, and I guess the one point I hadn't considered, the whole point of a mobile is to roll it from place to place and it would get very, could get very difficult to fit through a door. Very true. Very yeah. true. Kind of defeats the whole purpose of being mobile. Yeah. Good. Um, so we've really covered inside outside packaging. Uh, what kind of wall support is needed for the wall mounted U shoot U shape holder? So uh, do we have do we have when we hand out the um, product guide uh, at the end, which we do, we'll email that out to everyone. Does yeah. it discuss what amount of structural uh, strength is needed in a wall to support a YouTube? Great question. Um, I'm going to refer that to Germany, but I'm pretty sure again that it does. Yeah. They, they lay out what's what's needed there. Yeah. Yeah. Because depending on the obviously the the length which it is, right. uh, 
reaching out, uh, you know, the moment arm becomes bigger. But right, uh, exactly. I, I will, I know one person asked that when we do follow up, we will follow up by sending everyone a product guide. It has specifications, dimensions, all the options of CPUs and memory and drives, solid state drives, et cetera, mm -hmm. and sizes. Um, we will look up uh, the mounting um, uh, answer to that as well on the YouTube. So we can uh, get some information to you on how, how structurally uh, strong the wall needs to be to hold that up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll get that back. Um, that was really it from us. If any, unless someone has another question, we really, really appreciate uh, everyone giving us some of their time. And for many of you, it's probably over your lunchtime. And uh, uh, we appreciate being given that opportunity. So, Absolutely. Unless there's any other questions, or Eric, if you had any last things maybe left in your demo room you wanted to show? Uh, no, everything is pretty much behind me here, crowded in. Um, I wish I had a little more room. I could sort of shuffle things in and out, but I have a, a trolley light five star with a basically with a battery on it here also. But um, but again, if you need a demo, um, we'd be happy to provide you with a demo, including including either the tablet, the glass keyboard, as I said. Um, basically, anything you see here, we'll, we'll demo. We'll let you demo. And yeah. uh, because one thing I believe in, and I'm sure Mike's the same way, is you really have to see these to appreciate them. You have to touch them. You have to basically manipulate them and really just kind of be around them and use them. Um, they're, they're great pieces of HMIs. And, uh, yeah, I just appreciate everyone being here today. And they're fantastic pieces of machining. When you feel how smooth that surface is and you start you know, thinking about entrapment and cleaning and you realize how easy that is to work with, uh, you will really see the value in, in having that in your clean room. But Definitely. what we will do as a follow up, we do have a product guide. It has all the specifications and dimensions and mounting information. Uh, we'll get a copy of that out electronically, electronically to everyone. And uh, we will get some details on the structural integrity required in a wall to support uh you know the unit and how far it can be extended out on youtube so people can make those decisions and all we ask is if you have another question please reach out to us over email we'd be happy to answer any question you have or uh you know get some pricing information in your hands so you can start budgeting uh for your project right definitely mike but unless there's a question thank you very much we appreciate your time thanks everyone have a great day